you're sober curious, interested in a damp lifestyle, or just reevaluating the relationship you have with alcohol, you should really listen to this. If you don't know, I'm doing a 100 day sober reset and trying to better understand the impact alcohol has on me mentally and physically. I'm not trying to push sobriety or sober curiosity on anyone. I just think this information is crazy and it really changed the way that I understand how alcohol impacts me. It also really explains almost every problem I had with drinking. I learned this from my friend who I'll tag in the caption. I think she got it from the book, The Naked Mind. So basically when you drink, your brain suppresses your prefrontal cortex, which is the decision-making part of your brain. And that's why we get that fun, uninhibited feeling when we drink. The other thing that happens when we drink is that our brain releases dopamine. Dopamine is a pleasure chemical and our brain loves pleasure chemicals. That's often why we get addicted to things. You can get dopamine from a number of daily activities like laughing with your friends, having sex, going for walks with your dog. But alcohol is just very efficient at releasing dopamine. So you have to do very little to get a lot of dopamine. And our brain loves that. That's not what's bad. What's bad is how our body then reacts. So there is a part of our brain that recognizes that having lower inhibitions and higher pleasure chemicals could be a dangerous combination. Our body is always trying to maintain homeostasis, so it's trying to keep the balance. So in order to balance out the dopamine, our brain releases a suppressant called dynorphins. The dynorphins are sent out to depress our body and bring it back to that flat level. Because part of our brain is always chasing that pleasure chemical, when we feel it drop, that's where we get that kick to go and grab another drink. The unfortunate thing is that our body has already released a lot of our dopamine, so it's not going to release the same amount to get back to that high that we had before. That's why your first drink is always the most fun. So our dopamine levels are not able to keep up with the dynorphins that our body is releasing, and you start to go into the depression. That's why you can end your night crying no matter how happy you are going into the night. Your brain values predictability and efficiency. So if you routinely drink, your brain starts to pick up on that and it will release dynorphin whether or not you're drinking. So let's say you're like me and you frequently have a glass of wine after work. Whether or not you have that glass of wine, your body's going to release the depressants and you're going to feel that depressed feeling after work. So then if you don't drink, you're not getting that rush of endorphins and you're just going to feel depressed. And that's probably going to make you crave a drink even more. So the more regularly you drink, the more dynorphins are just flowing through your body, which means that in any given day, you're just more numb to the pleasures of the world than you would normally be. Your body has to release more dopamine to get you to a level of happiness that it would have been able to achieve before. This explained a lot for me. I hope it's helpful for you.